And what do we have to block off here? We put a wall there. We pull the lever to close that, and then we're sealed again. All right. Wall. There. This lever. Pull it. Now. This wall. Build it. I don't know. What are you making me for lunch? Barbecue chicken pizza in the fridge down or the freezer downstairs. No. One second, everybody. All right, we're going to go for another 45 minutes-ish. See if we can uh, finish retaking our fort here. All right, are we officially sealed? Wall built, door closed. We did it, everybody. We got our fort back. All right, well... Uh, first off, you guys can not be stationed. You guys can take a break. Thank you for your service. What are you doing? <laughs> no job, just wandering. It's fine. And now we can like unlock things. That'll promote putting some stuff away. Look at that. We reclaimed things. We succeeded at something. I think that deserves a roll. <laughs> sure does. Uh, slabs. 
Apparently we need more slabs. Oh good, Rimtar the Hunter is possessed by Monam, ghostly spear dwarf. That's a separate one. Alright, we need more slabs. <laughs> more slabs, please. And, um, what's this one? Monam. Hopefully some of the bodies will be able to be put away too. Someone was hauling some cheese and it got locked. What a shame. All right, we had a. Um, I do want to check on that uh, artifact, but there was a dead, forgotten beast or demon in here. I want to totally put on a pedestal. Oh, wonder if they can carry that without burning. This is a devil of flames, flame. I kind of want to like put it on a pedestal right there. I have no, no, um, pedestals. All right, Iris has cleaned a leather works. Has already cleaned a llama leather and two copper bars. I wonder what they'll make for us. Where are you? Uh, strange mood. Urist, the wood burner, is uh, hauling rough pink tourmalines. This isn't funny. She feels wonder, remembering communing with Anra's the Sepia Certainty in a dedicated temple. Also felt satisfied remembering mastering wood burning. Legendary wood burner. Uh, you want to acquire an object and be with family, huh? Uh, she has a tr great trouble mastering fear when confronted by danger. She is very greedy. She doesn't seek out excitement. Uh, she is not inherently proud of her talents and accomplishments and doesn't try to handle 
She doesn't try to get things done perfectly. She doesn't handle stress well. She has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications. She does not feel lustful and is quick to anger. She is often nervous. She prefers to present herself modestly. Uh, she has little interest in joking around and is curious and eager to learn. She tends to be swayed by the emotions of others and generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. She is not particularly interested in what others think of her. She rarely feels discouraged. She stomps her feet repeatedly when she's angry and uh, she doesn't really care about anything anymore. She dreams of mastering a skill and this dream is realized. She is a legendary wood burner after all. She personally strongly believes that a peaceful and ordered society without dissent is best and believes it is important to conceal emotions and refrain from complaining. Uh, values honesty and has a negative view of those who exercise power over others and finds artwork boring. She likes malachite, lead, black zircon, goblin cap wood, clear glass, uh, blue jay leather, elk bird antler, warhammers, bucklers, barrels, llamas for their jetting teeth, the sound of the adorable phrase, and the sight of the wonders of pregnancy. When possible, she prefers to consume single grain wheat beer and absolutely detests blood nets. What a fine dwarf. Also, currently ha hauling some kale and eight. Alright, we still need to put bomb wrecking and rim tar to bed to rest here. We have that one. Do I have a shortcut for this? Not really. means we didn't actually do it. All right. What's the last one? Rintar. Oh no, we did we did mode on, we didn't do bomb wreck. Oh, but bomb wreck's now entombed. Do we still have a ghost? We still have mode on. Oh, but we're putting that one we're putting that one down now. We might be all set. Hootie hoo! Making progress, people. Successfully retook most of our fort. And at the same time secured it a little bit better. Meanwhile, the animals are fighting. I think these um These kangaroo are causing more trouble than they're worth. I'll be a guinea pig. Not too strong of a flavor. So you put a little bit of the raspberry. In? I put a little bit yeah. of it. Is it hard to tell? Um. I would say I'd note it, but I wouldn't say it is overpowering. Because I think the cookies were too oily because of adding the extract, and mm -hmm. so they spread, and they didn't, it looked like they didn't cook all the way, and they're like kind of crispy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I think it literally just ended up on the meat. Yeah. So. Yeah, it may not work. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, it's tasty. Yeah. yeah. Think it, uh, okay, I'll probably bring them tonight. Okay. Oh. All right, Eurist has started working. Uh, llama leather, two copper bars, walnut, walnut wood, uh, rough pink tourmalines, kaolinite, claystone blocks, and llama bone. Can't wait to see what they make. All right, Monam has been put to rest.
Oh my goodness, that's a lot of animals. <laughs> Alright, the reason why we might have uh, frame rate issues in this fort is because I just have way too many animals. Uh, yeah. Also, we apparently are not spinning wool fast enough. So I'm actually going to create a separate farmer's workshop area right here. Except I don't have enough blocks for it. Six by six, yeah, six by seven is fine. Also, we need more bone stuff. And I gotta be honest, I think we're gonna be slaughtering more animals. Like everything that's a pig, maybe? Might even take out some of the older sloths. It makes me sad. You're going back to reading The Hobbit right now, and then you'll eat your lunch? Alright, enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. Feel free to leave a lurk if you like, and, you know, it's obviously fine if you don't, too. So maybe in my future forts, maybe I learn to actually geld some animals and stop like randomly trading for every neat little animal I can possibly get. Like who doesn't want a pangolin and a cougar and a jaguar? I mean, I don't want to live in a world where I don't get those things, but maybe I should exercise some restraint. Maybe. Also, these kangaroos are really <laughs> problematic, <laughs> but they provide me some, some laughter. Have a good one. It's a little late to geld, but you know, it's fine. Apparently I have a turkey in a cage. Whoops. Bacon's on the menu, everybody. You saw nothing. Alright, we have an ocelot. I don't want to geld the ocelot. Oh, we have a bonobo in a cage. I should fix that. The bonobo should go in with the um, with the queen. I do. Queenie, Queenie, McQueenie, in the dining hall. I don't know if bonobos are. Um, or maybe they'll put it in the tavern. Or maybe it just let it roam out here. Or we can give it to the Duke. Eurist has created an Enshaduk, a llama leather buckler. Take a look at that in just a minute. An Enshaduk is a llama leather buckler with 10,700. It is encrusted with a round claystone cabochon studded with copper, decorated with llama leather, and encircled with bands of walnut wood and llama bone. 
The object menaces with spikes of copper and kaolinate. On the item is an image of o Ozma's Blue Inch the Wolf in pink tourmaline. Ozma's Blue Inch the is laboring. The artwork relates to the settling of the wolf Ozmo's Blue Inch in the Feral Hills in 4. Uh, no, there's no redeem for it, Neems. If you want a dwarf, just say so and tell me beard or no beard and roughly what kind of job you like. You can't be the chief medical dwarf, the manager, the tavern... Er, actually, you can be the other tavern keeper. Uh, you can't be the duke. But largely, other than that, you're open to request what you like and if I have one, I'll give it. Also, hello? I feel like I haven't done very much today, but I do remember that there's a... Uh, you know, a lot of... A lot of planning to fight the demons that didn't actually happen. Uh, a male noble or priest? I don't think we have any priests. Into spring of 20. So these are our temples. I don't think any of them are recognized. Like I just created some. Yeah. So yeah, we have no organized religions. So in terms of nobles, I mean, you could be the queen, but that's, that's, that's female, obviously. You could be the mayor. Zass is, is, uh, available. Zass the mayor. Mayor is fine. Excellent. Currently planting seeds. Neemst the 96th. Uh, currently conducting a meeting, actually. 98 years old, the quest for knowledge never ends. He feels empathy while being cried on by an unhappy citizen. Uh, it feels satisfied, remembering improving intimidation. That's very important for a, uh, mayor. Also, preparing a lavish meal. Hauling some prepared sheep heart. Yum! Um, want some excitement. You have a porcelain earring in your right ear, a copper amulet, a copper amulet, a nice amulet, a nice amulet. Four crowns. Something tells me you like to be extravagant, just from what I see here. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. He is frequently depressed, never fails to seek out the most stressful and even dangerous situations. He is completely convinced of his worthlessness. <laughs> a fine dwarf. He is bashful. Uh, and confident under pressure. He enjoys the company of others and is quick to anchor. He is often cheerful. He has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others and often doesn't, uh, doesn't often feel envious of others. He lives a fast-paced life and is often nervous. Doesn't really care about anything anymore. Uh, he dreams of raising a family. He personally believes that peace is always preferable to war. Greatly respects those that observe decorum and maintain their dignity and values artwork and values sacrifice. Uh, I like Sylvite, Bronze, Star Ruby, Nethercap Wood, Giant Mongoose Bone. Good luck with that. And Giant Vulture Parchment. Also, good luck with that. Blue Peafowls for their enormous fan tails and the sound of the glittery zephyr. One possibly prefers to consume durian wine and buckwheat flour and absolutely detests hamsters. Welcome to the fort. Get a lot of friends. Eh. Um, I take that back. You have two friends. <laughs> and a bunch of passing acquaintances. You're a member of both the Farmer's Guild and the Planter's Guild.
feel like we need more statues in our queen's throne room here. These are all, of course, of Kovest. Basically have no adornment out here. Maybe we we have a very understated exterior. Maybe we put a couple of statues of Kovist out here, but I want the actual statues of Kovist. The ones that look like a dragon. That'll do. Uh Dusim has arisen. That's a lot of fighting. I hope no one died. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have so many animals. Oh, what should we do with that buckler, huh? We can put it in the, um, actually. That's got stuff on it. What if we put a pedestal here? And this will be in honor of the things we've had to fight on our way down. Now, technically, I could reopen this wall, but if I did that, I would lose these engravings. Which is maybe a reason not to engrave a wall like that. But that's okay. I guess this is permanent. Let's put some flooring down there. Diplomacy! Greetings from the Woodlands, there is much to discuss. Yeah, we did what you asked last time, and the time before that, and the time before that. Stop threatening me! 69 trees, sure. Elven Caravan has arrived. Not that they can get in here anyways, but make sure they don't get tempted. Well, we're definitely not finishing the fort today, but I am very happy that we were able to recover my ballistae, my siege weapons here, the, the, the levers here, and then this entire length of things. Apparently there's just body parts here. That's normal. I wonder who Gin Gim Kazar is. It's their head in any case. Apparently, it's, it was something with a mandible. I never built that uh, pedestal. Alright, did we get our slab engraved? Uh, 
No, we have another ghost. You noticed that one yet? Yes. Not that I have to wait until they discover it, but I prefer to wait to make a slab for a ghost until we actually know that it, they are there. <clears throat> All right. I want... Devil of Flame Flames. I feel like it's going to count as a corpse, but I'm not sure. Devil of Flame Flames. And as far as random things to just put on someone's... Uh, on a pedestal. I feel like that's a pretty cool one. Doosin. We know about Doosin? Guess we'll find out. Dude, I just put that there. And no one noticed it. Hmm. Uh, I forgot that there's L's here. Uh, we will give you some amulets. Why do I have... Oh, those are recovered from down below. All right. Yeah, we'll give her those. Uh, and how about some cabinets? You love cabinets, right? Cabinets? Yes. And how about some boxes? Bet you love some boxes. Normally I'd give you gems, but I don't feel like it. No siree, Bob. Oh, interesting. They've recovered lung fur. Interesting. Now, if only I knew where my dragon was. Puppies. Some text a little bit ago. I should probably double check that. Nine?
All right, uh, broker. Get your butt up here. Your conscience again for dwarves. Good job, Yanto. You got about 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll check in on your dwarf in just a moment. I just got to do this trading before I forget, because I will forget. We had a, a eventful day. We, we recovered our, our home. We will take your logs so we cut down fewer trees. Oh, you have kangaroos? We have problems with kangaroos. I'm really tempted with this cha chimpanzee, but I'm going to try to resist. They have a toad. Another toad? A leopard. We'll take the leopard. Bobcat? Yep. Yeah, no, we don't need more sloths. A weasel is tempting. All right. Mass lovebird? No, thank you. That's probably it, though. It's kind of tempting to go over and say, like, I'm going to trade to get all of my clothing from the elves in a game. Like, I wonder if you could trade often enough with just clothing. It might be interesting to try. Silvite. You know what? I'll take those. I will also take these. Never still. S what the heck is never still? What is never still? Bong. I mean, yes, never still always moving, but that's that's not like that's just weird. I've never seen that. Like, I don't know what never still is. Huh. I don't think I brought up enough to trade for it, unfortunately. Yeah. But that's okay. Trade. You're wonderful. Awesome. Go away. It is an instrument piece, but it's like the, the, the material it's made for is 9,000. It's worth 9,000. Like, it's just weird. Uh, Yanto, our soap maker. Currently storing an item in a stockpile. You wouldn't be happy if your belongings kept moving. I mean, you are the one that has all the cats in their bedroom. So, you know. Yeah, they play the music themselves. That would be kind of neat. You uh, talk to an acquaintance. You feel fond about that. You uh, were relieved being near a waterfall. Felt fondness talking with an acquaintance. Interested near a fine floor grate. Excuse me. Here a master soper, expert weaponsmith, competent thresher, competent planter, adequate butcher, novice brewer. You want to be with family. You want to craft an object, huh? I don't know if soap counts as crafting. How much soap do we have? I mean, if I need soap, maybe I should just make soap. That would be a no, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Depends on what you're doing with the soap. Well, in this game, it doesn't necessarily depend. <laughs> Oh, Zass, you're causing trouble. I don't know that that kid's going to make it to 18. And then, even if they do make it to 18, I don't know if I'll be able to turn them around. But I will try. Like, they might be up to 10 now? 
Ironically, they were in the Doctor's Guild when they threw the tantrum. Yeah, they're ten. Shaken after suffering a major injury. Yeah, so this is this is one of those things, you know. Her mother is dead. Her younger brother is dead. Um, in terms of injuries, yeah, your lower spine nervous tissue was cut, but it's been sutured. Quite quick to heal. Sounds uncomfortable? Yeah. Now you understand why she's haggard. Oh, we put a ghost to rest. Excellent! Yay! And there was much rejoicing. I feel like we're finally getting um, this fort back under control. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. Alright, I only get a couple more minutes. Bless you. Um, what can we do to, to close out? Oh, I was making... Uh, yes, I was making farmer's workshops up here. Let's do that. Quickly, quick, quick. Armor. Bing. Hmm. I think these should be really neat. Uh, so we'll make this one brass and this one brass. And this one. Um, hmm. Black bronze. Sure. Good talk, everybody. Because we have oodles and oodles of wool to go through. Also, let's lock this, pull the lever crunk, do it now. Might get some notices that some masterwork stuff are going to get crushed, but you know, these things happen. Oh wow, we didn't. Neat. Pull lever. Also, we still seem to have a lot of bone. Do we do we still need to make bone? Bone scepters. Um let's do three hundred of them now. Why not? Uh-oh. Lost In is really upset we have not been making floodgates. Lost In, do you need floodgates? Floodgates. Uh, chains and bucklers. Rock floodgates. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, and you know what? We'll make some leather bucklers. How about that? for a change. Ironically enough, uh, if you if you noticed, um, it's saying you, you want two bucklers, but you only need one. That artifact buckler we just made, that counted. Oh yeah. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, let's give you that buckler, huh? An Inchaduck? Yeah. There you go. Don't complain. Also, why is the Queen... Oh, Queen wants Warhammers and Rings. Today I learned. Uh, Silver Warhammer. And Rock Ringos. One and one? One and one. We are talking about the pinnacle of dwarfsmanship here. Uh, craft yeah, for sure. 
Uh, yeah, let's go down to your bedroom. Let's see if we have any more floodgates to add to your wonderful. Lost in, what are you doing with a rotten stray cougar cor corpse in your bedroom? Do we need to have a discussion? Do we? Pretty sure we do. <laughs> oh, we have floodgates for you. Floodgates, floodgates. I don't know the rest of the song. Floodgates, floodgates. We truly have too many floodgates, floodgates. <laughs> this is, this is borderline obsession. It was already there, I swear, Mr. Officer. Nuh uh, I don't believe you. You've got these chains in your bedroom, all sorts of different weird cats and a random bonobo. Speaking of which, I think I just get some more cats from the elves because even though I keep saying I should not get any more animals, ooh, more animals. Yeah, Bonobo's a monkey. Disgusted after retching on my asthma. Oops. Felt free after being released from confinement. Well, those evil elves, they, they can find you in a cage. Not really evil, but you know, it's fine. All right, tis one o'clock. Any last things before we go? I know it's anticlimactic. Very few people died today. Now we're doing this a little more efficiently. We have so many farmers workshops in this fort. We got like 12, something like that. All right. I guess it's time to say a goodbye to Dragon Age for now. But hey, hopefully I can stream this weekend. We'll see.